projecting an aura of certainty about New Glenn. They're launching a state-of-the-art reusable rocket that's set to make its highly anticipated debut in late 2024. However, recent developments suggest that meeting this schedule may prove challenging. What challenges are emerging with New Glenn? How has Jeff Bezos responded? Join us as we explore these topics in today's episode of NR Studio. Blue Origin's newest orbital launch vehicle, New Glenn, now sits proudly complete on a test platform at Space Launch Complex, 36 aboard Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. The vehicle eagerly anticipates its highly anticipated hot firing test, a critical milestone designed to assess the harmonious operation of its first and second stages. While there are indications that Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket has undergone a comprehensive static firing test, my observation of live footage from the site suggests a lack of substantial activity, or perhaps it happened so quickly that we didn't catch it. If anyone has additional information about the new Glenn test, we'd greatly appreciate your insight in the comments section. Sometimes your contributions grow into invaluable repositories of knowledge, leading to insightful and insightful discussions. I appreciate your help in that regard. Conducting such a thorough evaluation of New Glenn would be a significant milestone in the rocket's development toward its maiden flight. Under the guidance of Dave Lim, Blue Origin has made tremendous progress in developing New Glenn. On October 30th, the company successfully transported New Glenn's substantial first stage to Launch Complex 36. In September, Blue Origin successfully conducted a 15-second static firing test of New Glenn's second stage powered by two BE-3U engines running on liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen, producing a total thrust of 173,000 pounds. It was the most thorough evaluation the company has disclosed since the launch of the New Glenn initiative. Nonetheless, can one envision that such advancements were achieved without obstacles? Although these milestones represent a substantial progress, Blue Origin continues to encounter considerable hurdles that could potentially impede the timely launch of New Glenn. A significant concern lies in the unfinished condition of various essential rocket components. Recent photographs indicate that vital components remain incomplete, casting doubt on the rocket's preparedness for the anticipated schedule. Isn't it intriguing to consider why Blue Origin, despite having nearly completed the integration of its rocket, has not yet embarked on comprehensive testing? If you also find this somewhat perplexing for a company striving to rival SpaceX, please respond with yes. What accounts for the slow yet assured approach of a company aspiring to rival SpaceX? Is this deliberate caution indicative of thorough testing protocols? Or are there more profound technical impediments causing the company to delay the implementation of a full-scale static fire test? Even if, by the moment this video is released, Blue Origin has successfully executed the static fire test, it still begs the question of why New Glenn has remained stationary on the launch pad for two months with seemingly no discernible advancements. Previously, the New Glenn rocket was lowered a single time while it remained stationary on the launch pad. The observed delays and erratic trajectories suggest underlying complications with either the rocket itself or the associated launch support systems. Should the issue originate from the vehicle, it may be attributed to inconsistencies in the B4 engines or complications within the fueling system. Conversely, the launch infrastructure could be to blame, possibly owing to complications related to fuel management the interface between the rocket and terrestrial apparatus, or safety procedures. In the absence of an official statement from Blue Origin, speculation runs rampant. Nonetheless, both scenarios underscore a palpable lack of preparedness that detracts from the company's reputation. The current circumstances have magnified doubts regarding Blue Origin's capacity to effectively compete in the contemporary space race. Elon, the CEO of SpaceX, has seized the opportunity to underscore this disparity. On November 21st, coinciding with the rollout of New Glenn to the launch pad, Musk took to Twitter to post How Time Flies, accompanied by an image capturing a meeting between himself and Jeff Bezos from 20 years prior. Elon's caption alluded to counsel he had previously offered to Bezos, which he asserted had been disregarded. The critique of Blue Origin's work ethic is not a novel phenomenon. In 2018, Jason Davis, a former executive at Blue Origin, noted that Blue exhibits a certain lethargy when juxtaposed with SpaceX. Today, that sentiment echoes with even greater significance as SpaceX perseveres in its pursuit of groundbreaking milestones. In the previous quarter, SpaceX successfully executed two Starship missions, reinforcing its supremacy in the field, while New Glenn remains tethered to the ground. 
In addition to the technical challenges, regulatory obstacles present a considerable risk. Blue Origin has not yet obtained the requisite launch license, a critical prerequisite for obtaining approval for its inaugural flight. The licensing procedure encompasses thorough evaluations, and although the rocket may be technically prepared, the lack of regulatory approval could result in further delays. The ambiguity regarding the licensing timeline exacerbates the intricacy of the situation, potentially prolonging the burden, despite progress in rocket readiness. In all sincerity, accurately forecasting the timing of New Glenn's maiden flight proves to be an exceedingly challenging endeavor. The multitude of delays encountered by the rockets has rendered Blue Origin's initial commitments mere echoes of the past. This year, the company initially anticipated a November launch, only to subsequently amend its projections to the more ambiguous timeframe of before year-end. Nevertheless, this revised timeline appears to embody a sense of speculative optimism rather than a definitive strategy, given the absence of any official announcement to date. Blue Origin, the aerospace enterprise established by Jeff Bezos, intends to utilize the inaugural flight of New Glenn to evaluate its proprietary blurring technology. The system is engineered to accurately position payloads in designated orbits post-deployment, an essential attribute for both its commercial and government clientele. Furthermore, this mission constitutes the inaugural of two requisite flights essential for certification by the Space Force to undertake national security operations. Fundamentally, New Glenn is a heavy-lift launch vehicle propelled by seven BE-4 engines that together produce an astounding 3.8 million pounds of thrust for liftoff. This formidable capability exceeds that of competing rockets like ULA's Vulcan Centaur, which utilizes BE-4 engines, albeit with a configuration of merely two. Alongside its payload delivery functions, Blue Origin harbors ambitious intentions to render New Glenn reusable. The company plans to achieve a recovery of the rocket's first stage in the Atlantic post-launch, employing a technique reminiscent of SpaceX's Falcon 9 booster landings. Nonetheless, executing such a maneuver during a maiden flight constitutes a bold gamble, considering the inherent complexities and associated risks. SpaceX's endeavor to achieve flawless booster landings exemplifies the inherent challenges associated with this undertaking. It was not until the 20th flight that SpaceX accomplished its inaugural successful landing of the Falcon 9 booster. Following a series of iterations and setbacks, Blue Origin's choice to undertake this endeavor on the inaugural flight of New Glenn entails considerable risks, as even a slight misstep could jeopardize the program and result in significant delays. Reusability constitutes a central component of New Glenn's strategy to effectively contend with SpaceX regarding both cost and launch frequency. It is important to recognize that Blue Origin is embarking on this competition significantly later than SpaceX, which has firmly positioned itself as the front runner in reusable technologies. In order for Blue Origin to successfully close this gap, it must execute with precision, a task that presents considerable challenges at the current juncture of its program. However, this disparity is inescapable, stemming from the intrinsic distinctions in the methodologies and developmental strategies employed by SpaceX and Blue Origin. These distinctions have influenced the divergent paths of the two competitors in the commercial space race. Although SpaceX has propelled itself forward with its audacious test fast, fail fast, and resolve fast philosophy, Blue Origin's more conservative strategy has hindered its ability to maintain competitive momentum. SpaceX's ethos cultivates a culture of unyielding innovation. Through the implementation of regular testing, and an acceptance of the potential for failure, the company adeptly uncovers vulnerabilities at an early stage, allowing for swift remediation and fostering a virtuous cycle of perpetual enhancement. Consider the Starship program as a case in point. In a matter of months, SpaceX executed a series of pressure test static fires and flight tests, deriving valuable insights from the notable failures of the SN8 and SN9 prototypes. These ostensibly perceived failures served as pivotal stepping stones yielding essential data that accelerated SpaceX's trailblazing advancements at an unprecedented pace. Conversely, Blue Origin adopts a meticulous and risk-averse approach, emphasizing thorough analysis and strategic planning prior to pursuing significant milestones. Although this mitigates the probability of severe early failures, it markedly hinders the company's overall advancement. The inception of New Glenn can be traced back to 2012 
However, it has yet to attain its inaugural orbital flight. In comparison to SpaceX, Blue Origin has conducted limited testing, which has resulted in missed opportunities to identify and rectify design challenges at an early stage, thus extending its development timeline. Nevertheless, Jeff Bezos is convinced that his venture, Blue Origin, will ultimately surpass Amazon in terms of scale and influence. I believe this is going to be the most incredible company I've ever been a part of, but it's going to take time, Bezos said Wednesday at the New York Times Dealbook Summit. Founded by Bezos in 1994, Amazon boasts a market capitalization of $2.3 trillion. Founded by Bezos in 2000, Blue Origin has consistently refrained from disclosing its valuation. He exclusively owns and finances Blue Origin through the proceeds of his Amazon stock sales. Over the years, Blue Origin has flown short missions to the edge of space, carrying tourists and research payloads, including notable participation from Jeff Bezos himself. The company's efforts span a wide range of innovations, including rockets, spacecraft, space stations, and lunar landers. An upcoming milestone involves launching the impressive New Glenn rocket into orbit, a feat Bezos has indicated the company is on track to achieve. Bezos has expressed admiration for SpaceX, recognizing it as a formidable competitor in the aerospace sector. In a similar vein to OpenAI CEO Sam Altman earlier in the day, Bezos stated that he had no concerns about Musk's close ties to President-elect Trump. I take it for granted that Musk will refrain from using his political influence to benefit his own company or undermine his competitors, as Bezos has stated. That concludes today's episode. Thank you for your attention, and I look forward to our next meeting.